Hey there guys, welcome to me and our beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And I'm not going to win any fashion contests because once again, I'm in my hoodie. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in Australia and I am freezing my ass off. Um, it's probably not as cold as I am making it out to be, but the minute it gets even just a little bit cold, I want my blanket, my pillow, my bed. That's where we are now. Um, in saying that though, we're not in my bedroom because I'm cold. We're in my bedroom because all of the children are home once again. Uh, we're very close to going on school holidays again. It's the weekend and it's almost impossible for me to get some peace and quiet. So if you do hear noise in the background, voices, scooters, music, I will do my best to try and cut it out. Uh, it has been a hot minute, hasn't it, since I've done another video. And so let's get some uh, housekeeping out of the way. Um, I can't record when I'm miserable. Plain and simple, and I'm gonna be upfront and honest with you. There's been a lot of things going on in my life at the moment that has really whew, slapped the taste out of my mouth, um, so to speak. So I've had some um, medical issues within my family, some of my children, and not just little things too. I mean, I have mentioned to you guys that I have a diabetic five-year-old. It's actually my middle child, my 14-year-old, who's got this new medical uh, emergency that we're still currently in the process of, of dealing with. Everything's going to be fine, but you know, it doesn't stop you from worrying. And then also, um, we had a, a very, very dear friend, family friend, we just call him family, our best friend actually, I mean I think he was everyone's best friend, pass away and that that really threw us. Um, it still has, I mean the world will never be the same um, and I'm sure if you guys have lost someone special you guys understand that as well but uh, this man was a bright star. Anyway. We will move on from that and um, today I wanted to do some empties with you guys. I just wanted to do it low key, in my Udi, relaxed, calm, cool. I haven't done a video in a while and um, yeah, I just thought I would get back into the swing of things and see how we go. So if I'm a little not as animated today, I do apologise. I will do my best to, um, I'll do my best to get it all out. All right, so let's start. I've got some stuff that you haven't seen um, either in a while or ever. Um, and actually, I've got some stuff that you can't find in Australia anymore. But if you're not in Australia, then this will be fine for you. This is the Avon uh, Bubble Delight Lavender Garden Bubble Bath. This stuff is amazing. Ugh, I, I, look, when I used to buy Avon, I'd only buy if it was on special. So I could get this for like 10 bucks. Um, this would last me a very, very long time. Now, admittedly, I don't have as many baths as I would like to, uh, <laughs> you know, when I can actually get into the bath through all the toys and everything. But this stuff is amazing. It is very difficult to try and find an adult style bubble bath that doesn't cost 20, 30, $40, even more in Australia. So to be able to get a hold of something like this that doesn't smell like juicy fruits or, um, you know, bubble gum or, uh, <laughs> You know, I know it says bubble delight. Did I say bubble gum? I don't, I don't remember if I said bubble gum. It's not bubble gum. It's bubble delight lavender garden. Anyway, this stuff is beautiful. I am a little bit devo that I can't get this anymore. Um, I'm sure I could find something else, but not for the price. So there's that. So if you can get a hold of this, it's lovely stuff. I think they also have a rose scented one as well, but I don't think that one's as popular. Anyway, devastated. That one's out of my life forever. What are you going to do? Then I have this, actually I've got two. I've got these Palmolive foaming um, hand foams, uh, hand washes, and I absolutely love these. Um, the first one I ever got was the Japanese Cherry Blossom, and I love this. I love the, the scent of Japanese Cherry Blossom so much from this that I went out and I brought a uh, laundry detergent in that scent. I brought a body mist in Japanese Cherry Blossom Anyway, um, so I thought I would try some of the other stuff. I absolutely love this one here. I thought I would try the raspberry because I love the smell of raspberries too. But I don't like this one. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't know. I love raspberries, but this one smells, I don't know. It just, there's something about it that I don't like about this one. It does smell like raspberries, but 
I don't know, there's, some, there's something wrong with the raspberry scent and I just can't quite put my finger on it. But anyway, these are great. I love how these works. Uh, uh, works? I love how these work. I don't, um, it doesn't slide off my hand. Um, it puts a perfect amount on. I just, I really, really like it. It's gentle on my hands too. I don't find that it dries my hands out. So I already have purchased another one of these cherry blossom ones. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep buying them until they stop selling them or until I find something better. Uh, I can't remember how much they cost though. I don't think they're too bad. I actually get them on special. In fact, as I said, I try and get everything on special. So if they're not on special, then I guess I get to try something else. Let's move on. The next thing I have is not really exciting actually. It is the, um, these are the... Dentitex um, Floss Picks. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Let's see if it. Ooh, maybe I can zoom in for you guys. Anyway, I get these to clean in between my teeth. I like them. Um, sometimes I like them better than normal floss. Sometimes I don't. Uh, but I got this uh, tub of 100 and it lasted me a good while, like three months or something like that. And maybe just a little bit under. Um, and yeah, these were great. I'd buy them again. Uh, I don't know where I brought them. But yeah. Uh, Dentitex Charcoal Floss Picks. Um, I actually found that a lot of the time they did better for me uh, than floss itself. I do like the little um, the little spike on the uh, let me see on the little bottom. Um, I don't know. I just like these. It works for me. Let's move on. The next thing, and I don't know where the lid is, is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash with Aloe. Oats and Vitamin E, Calm and Clear. You guys have seen this on my channel before. I use it a lot. My partner primarily uses this one now because I'm currently going through my Lush body washes and I'm loving them. Oh my gosh, right now I'm still using the, um, what is it called? Uh, my brain has completely farted. Oh my God. This one here. I've for some reason, the name eludes me, but I'm using that one, and it is perfect for this colder weather. It's got this, like, slight spice to it. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. This is fabulous as well. I love this. It's calm. It's gentle. It helps gently exfoliate, but not enough that you're worried about using it every day. You can use it every day. There's no drama there. Um, I love this stuff, and, uh, yeah, just wish it was cheaper. I have a candle, and she's a bit ugly at the moment. This is the uh, Bora Bora Bungalow uh, Glasshouse Candle. Mm. It smells like fruit tingles. I love the shit out of this. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, this is, they call it cilantro and orange zest. You can't smell the cilantro. You can definitely smell the orange zest, but it's more like orange sherbet. It is amazing. It is wonderful, it is playful, it is fruity, it is spring, um, but I burn this whenever the fuck I want and it makes me feel wonderful. Um, excuse the French, but sometimes a scent can just change everything. It really, really can. I'm going to wash this jar up and I'm going to put it in my bathroom um, because the one that I had in there for toothbrushes, toothpaste and everything like that, I'm now using for my partner for his shavers and razors and grooming stuff. So we need another one and uh, these are fabulous for that. Let's move on. The next thing I have is this. Oh, I wonder if I wrote something about this. Sometimes I forget about things I did. So this is the Alma Dahlia Hemp Seed Oil Ageless Faceless Mask for firming anti-wrinkle and antioxidant and I have said that it's very moist very fresh and cooling it's definitely scented mm, and it caused a slight redness in the skin I didn't hate it but it's not my first pick so I would not pick this up again based on what I've just said then I don't think necessarily it was a bad thing if I do remember yeah there, it, there was a lot of fluid it was messy um, but it was nice enough but I I think the the fact the definitely scented thing throws me off a little bit. I'm not sure about that, so that's probably why I wouldn't pick it up again. But yeah, there you go. 
Next thing I have is the, actually I've got a few of these, but we won't worry about it too much. This is the Patchology uh, Rejuvenating Eye Gels. These are nice. These are not my favorite, but they are up there. I do like these. The only thing that pisses me off about these ones a little bit more than the ones that I can't even remember the other brand that I love. Uh, but these ones can slide a little sometimes and that kind of annoys me because I, I'm not one of these people who just lay down and lay there for 10-15 minutes. I don't, I just don't have the freaking time to do that, um, nor the desire, um, just for eye patches, you know what I mean? Like, anyway, these are nice enough and I've got some more in the fridge and, uh, yeah, I like these. I like them. The next thing I have is the Ordinary Buffet Multi technology peptide serum. I love this stuff and I've already replaced it. Um, I was going to pick up the um, copper peptide one, but uh, I don't know. I want to try it, but it's just that little bit more expensive and I'm like, do I really want to justify it? Could it really be that much better? I just need to pull the trigger and buy it and try it myself and then figure it out. And But yeah, no, nah, I like this. I like this the way it is. So, um, you know, I was a bit tight on cash and so I pulled back and got another one of these instead of the copper peptide one, but next time I'll try the copper peptide one and I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Let's move on. I have here, ooh, feels full. Hang on a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Notes on Nude by Nature. So this is the Nude by Nature Cleanse, Energizing Facial Cleanser. There's product in here, guys, and I wouldn't throw it out if I didn't like it. Hang on. I wouldn't have thrown it out if I liked it. Um, let's see. It says, I've written, it works fine, but it's a little bubbly for me, and I don't like the foam, and it dries my skin out. Well, there we go. All right. So um, I won't throw this one away. I'll hand this one down to someone in the family that has a more oilier skin. So um, foams tend to really tighten up my skin but in a bad way, dry it out um, and I don't like bubbles, I, you know, bubbly skin, it makes me, bubbly skin, bubbles on my skin make me itch, it's annoying, um, I prefer creams, I prefer gels, uh, oils, that sort of thing, so um, I don't necessarily think that this is a bad product but it's definitely not for me and probably not for you if you've got really, really dry skin. Let's move on. Next thing I have is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. This was just a mist that I used. I enjoyed it. It was cheap enough. Like when I put on all my powders and stuff like that, uh, because I'm a dry crusty mummy, I generally just grab this, go ch -ch -ch -ch, and then just sort of pat it down with my beauty blender uh, or sponge, whatever you use. And I like it. It's nice. It's nice enough. I want to try something different though. I've still got another one of these left in a different um, scent. Uh, so when these guys are done, I'm going to try something new. I'm just not sure what yet. I don't know. Something. Something hydrating. I don't know. Let's move on. I have... Oh, Snow Fairy. I have a Lush Body Gel. It's just a little one. I picked it up, um, limited edition, towards the end of last year. And I like this. Now, it is sickly sweet. <sighs> but it is so good. It is amazing. Oh, it is good. It is good. It is like, how do I explain this? It's, it's musk sticks and fairy floss and strawberry lollies all smashed into one. It is amazing. I don't know how they do it, but I definitely will get this again. I will get this again. I'll get it in a bigger bottle. I'll get it in, again alongside of the other one that for some reason the name eludes me. Um, Yognog! There we go, Yognog! Uh, so, <laughs> come towards the end of this year again, I'll pick up a large size of the Snow Fairy and I'll pick up a large size of the Yognog, maybe a couple of sneaky extras to give in as presents. Uh, we will see. I hope they bring something new out as well. Mm, they are really good. Like, there's so much potential with Lush. I can't wait to get down there and just smell some new stuff. Um, I don't like paying for postage if I don't have to, but... Anyway, let's move on. The next thing I have is this Ole Henriksen Strength Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. It's just a little guy here, but this went a long way, and I am in love with this. I just don't like the price. 
So I use, uh, hmm, how big is my, um, my moisturizer? This, for 50 mils of this, it's like 60 something dollars, right? And for 50 mils of my current moisturizer, which is the Clinique um, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus, it's like $30 for the same thing. So I am essentially going to be paying double if I pick this bad boy up. I do love it. I'm just not sure why I love it. Like, I'm not sure if standalone, um, if I was just to use this on its own, if it would be just as good or if not better than what I already use because I, I have a nighttime moisturizer. That is my, um, my Clinique moisturizer. I was using this as my morning moisturizer alongside of all of my serums that I use in the nighttime, the serums I use in the morning. I really, really, really do like this. I'm just not sure if I can justify the cost. I want to try it again. I want to try it like on its own to see how well it actually does. But I also want to try a whole bunch of other things as well. So I don't know. But I love this. I really, really do. And I love the scent as well. It's got like this slight sort of lemon scent. I don't know. It's delicious. I love it. What else can I say? Let's move on. All right. This is e the Model Co... Lash Couture, my god, my god, mascara, oh my god, what is wrong with me, see, I go offline for like three weeks and then I can't even talk anymore, verbal freaking diarrhea, right, so I hate this and I'll explain why and I've tried to use it a few times now and I'm just not going to fuck with it anymore, so I got this in a beauty subscription box which is fine, um, some, some you win, some you lose. I was really excited to try this. I could have chose between this and several other things, but I needed a new mascara anyway. And I thought, well, mm, in my mind, if it's weak, at least I could still use it in the meantime. Hmm. Yeah. No, the problem is, is I can't use this. So the problem is, is I put one layer of this on and I decided to let it dry and one layer, look, it's fine, right? It's sort of, it's not thickening really, it's sort of a little bit lengthening and I thought, oh yeah, this is nice enough and I thought, you know what, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to put another layer on. I let it dry and I actually forgot that I was going to put another layer on and, um, and then all of a sudden I was sitting there and I was looking at the computer and it probably was about 10 minutes that had gone by and every time I blinked, my eyelashes, my tops and my bottoms were sticking together and I'm like, oh, this isn't good. So I thought, okay, all right. So obviously it takes quite some time to dry down. Whatever, it's a cheap mascara. Let's just let's just leave the eyes wide open and, and, and try and, you know, <laughs> no can do. By the time that this had dried down, my eyelashes, like, if I had 30 eyelashes, they turned into four. It had clumped up so much, my eyes were trying to stick to... This is shit! I absolutely hate this. In fact, I tried to leave it on for another 20 minutes to see whether it would dry down, and it just would not dry down. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. This would have been great for my lower lash ones too, because I don't really like a lot of body on my bottom ones. I just like tint on my bottom lashes so you can see them, and, and this would have been perfect for that. But even just using this on the bottom and using my regular mascara on the top, it still did its same bullshit. So this is absolute garbage and the only thing good about it is the colour of the tube. I mean, that's kind of pretty and it's quite devastating that the bloody thing doesn't work. But anyway, that's absolute garbage. I, I'm... Psh, nah. <laughs> anyway, look, like I said, you win some, you lose some and I don't know what's wrong with that formula but I'm not sure anyone's going to be able to make that work and that's really disappointing for a brand provided that that hasn't turned bad for some reason. If that's the way the product is, it's disappointing that they've put out that kind of product knowing that. Like, wouldn't it go through some sort of customer product testing or... I don't know. I would assume it would. Like, who said this was good? Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. The next thing, and I got some little notes, is this Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner Face Moisturizer Hydrant. What have I said? I said it's a nice cream. It's not amazing. It is thick, non-scented, hydrating, but hang on. Used with ah, it dries down tacky. Bugger. 
All right. Well, I mean, I, I love trying uh, new moisturizers and stuff like that. Samples, I mean, you can't get like, obviously a long-term effect to see how it works, but you can get an idea on what it's like on your skin, whether you're going to react, um, whether it's going to peel or, you know, dry down sticky or whatever. And uh, so this is nice enough, but obviously it's not good enough for my skin. So there's that. Let's move on. I have a couple of things left. Um, I have this like face shaver thingy. I just got that from like the reject shop. It was fine. It was fine. Um, just for the like little bit of peach fuzz down here. Nothing dramatic. It was okay. What else have I got? Oh, I have the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. Um, and I have some messages. I have some messages. And I have some thoughts. So, uh, I know straight away that I'm not going to purchase this. Um, I've said that it tingles my skin. It smells like the Nivea cream, like clean sort of linen, but like really, really strong. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was nice enough. I actually had a lot of expectations, like high expectations for this. So when I opened it up and I smelled it, I was really, really disappointed. I can't use like the Nivea or the Dove face moisturizers or anything like that because of that scent that they have. They're very, very similar, um, but they're, they're so strong and it, it hurts my head. It hurts my skin. Um, and unfortunately this one had done the same. I could have probably gotten past the tingling and my skin Maybe it was doing something good. I don't know, but I didn't have like a bad breakout. It was just I think the tingle was because of the um, The scent to be honest with you and that that's really disappointing. So let's move on. I have a uh, Mecca Cosmetica hydrating moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. Look, this was okay um, It was nothing to write home about nothing special uh, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, uh, rebuy that. And the last thing that I have, and I haven't opened it and I refuse to open it. I might ask if somebody wants it, but like, it's going to come with a warning label. This is the 40 Fathom Skin Regenerator Neck Cream. Everything I try from 40 Fathoms, I'm disappointed with. I hate the smell. I hate the texture. I hate the consistency. Um, I hate the effect. So this is just a no for me and I'll see if somebody wants it, but I'll let them know my experiences with it. I couldn't give a shit if this went in the bin, to be honest with you, but I'll try and hand it down. I'll try not to waste. See if somebody else likes it. We'll see. Anyway, guys, this was just a quick, easy video to try and get back in the swing of things. I'm going to do another video as well. I'm probably going to be wearing this as well. Hope you don't mind. Too bad if you do, because I'm just sort of chilling at the moment. I really do appreciate you guys coming and having a bit of a watch, having a bit of a chat in the uh, comments with me. If you want to hit me up, I'm on so many different socials. They'll be up on the screen here. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and hopefully it won't be too far away. See you later, guys.